looking for a placement test to assess the level of English of your students? Or do you want to know your own level to decide on a course book to follow? Be it for one or for the other reason, Cambridge has created their own placement test. Today, I'm talking about LinguaSkill. Oh, and this video is not sponsored. But if Cambridge Assessment English feels like sponsoring me, I'm all ears. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, exam seekers. I'm Patty, and today I'm talking about the Cambridge Placement Test, LinguaSkill. When there are new prospective students, schools are usually ready with their own placement test to assess their level of English. However, not all schools have a set of tests prepared to give their new students. Moreover, private teachers most often than not find themselves looking for tests here and there to apply to their new students. Cambridge Assessment English then decided to create their own placement tests so that these teachers and institutions would be able to place the students in levels according to their knowledge. Also, be able to choose the best course books to teach them. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you what LinguaSkill is its format and its reports and results. LinguaSkill is a multi-level test designed to help organizations and individual teachers assess the English level of individuals and groups of candidates, prospects. It helps institutions measure a student's level of English progression over time or graduation. It also ensures that their workforce has the skills needed to perform effectively. Moreover, it helps test takers prove their English language level for graduation, study, employment or measure progress. It is powered by artificial intelligence technology which offers a complete picture of the candidate's English abilities with fast and accurate testing. Within 48 hours, it provides detailed results aligned to the Common European Framework of Reference, the CEFR, and clear individual and group reports. Now, let's talk about test format. LinguaSkill is a modular online test that assesses all four language skills, reading, listening, writing, and speaking. However, you don't need to take or give all of them. You can choose the skill that you want to assess. There are two options of language skill, general and business, which allows you to choose the language tested based on your objectives. Language skill general tests language used in daily life, ideal for university admissions or exit, and recruitment for roles in non-business specific environment. Test topics include studying and working, making future plans, travel and technology. LinguaSkill Business, on the other hand, tests English used in business and corporate settings. It is most suitable for recruitment in organizations where employees are expected to be familiar with the business language. Test topics include buying and selling products or services, the office, business travel, and human resources. Let's start with reading and listening. They take from 60 to 85 minutes. There is not a fixed number of questions because the reading and listening modules are adaptive. Each question the candidate answers helps the computer to understand their level better. That is, if a candidate gets a question right, the computer will choose a harder question. The test finishes when the candidate has answered enough questions for a linguist skill to identify their level accurately, or a maximum number of questions have been asked. There are five types of reading tests. 
First, read and select, where candidates read a notice label, memo, or a letter containing a short text and choose the sentence or phrase that most closely matches to the meaning of the text. There are three possible answers. The second is gapped sentences. Candidates are supposed to read the sentence with a missing word, a gap, and choose the correct word to fill in the gap. There are three or four choices for each gap. Third, multiple choice gap fill. Candidates are expected to choose the right word or phrase to fill the gaps in a text. There are three to four choices for each gap. Four, open gap fill. Candidates read a short text in which there are some missing words, gaps, and write the missing word in each gap. Five, extended reading. Candidates are expected to read a longer text and answer a series of multiple choice questions. The questions are in the same order as the information in the text. Easy, right? And there are two types of listening tasks. One, listen and select. Candidates are expected to listen to a short audio recording and answer a multiple choice question with three options. And two, extended listening. Candidates are expected to listen to a longer recording and answer a series of multiple choice questions based on it. The questions are in the same order as the information they hear in the recording. Also easy, right? Now let's talk about the writing task. The writing is divided into two parts and it takes up to 45 minutes. The writing module asks candidates to input answers using a computer keyboard. Answers are marked automatically by the computer, which uses innovative auto-marker technology. Results will be available within 12 hours. Part 1 is an email. Candidates are expected to write a minimum of 50 words and the marks are half of the final writing result. Candidates are expected to read a prompt, usually an email, and respond to it using information and three bullet points provided. The second part is a long text. Candidates are expected to write a minimum of 180 words, and the mark is also half of the final writing result. Candidates are expected to read a short text, outlining a scenario and responding using the information in the scenario and the three bullet points. They need to produce a variety of text types. For example, a review, an article, a web post, a letter or a report. Now, let's talk about the speaking. It is divided into five parts and it takes up to 15 minutes. The speaking module is taken using a computer with a microphone and headphones. The questions are presented to the candidate through the computer screen and headphones, and the responses are recorded. Part 1 is the interview. It is 20% of the marks. Candidates answer 8 questions about themselves. The two first questions are not marked. Part 2 is reading aloud. It is 20% of the total mark. The candidate reads eight sentences aloud. Part three is the long term. It is 20% of the total mark. The candidate is given a topic to talk about for one minute. 40 seconds are allowed for preparation. Part four is also a long term. It is 20% of the mark. The candidate is given one or more graphics, for example, a chart, a diagram, or information sheet to talk about for one minute. One minute is allowed for preparation. Part four is the communicative activity. It is 20% of the total mark. The candidates give their opinion in form of short responses to the questions related to one topic. 40 seconds are allowed for preparation. So this is the format, 60 to 85 minutes, the reading and listening combined, 
45 minutes for the writing task and 15 minutes for the speaking task. Now let's talk about the results. Results are provided instantly for reading and listening, 12 hours for writing and within 48 hours for all skills. With a computer-generated test report, there is no waiting for printed certificates or other documents. Also, institutions have the option to allow candidates to view the results online. This means that candidates do not need to wait for the test report to be sent to them. Institutions have the choice of whether or not to make this feature available to all the candidates. The report will show candidates Cambridge English Scale score for each of the skills tested, candidates Common European Framework of Reference, the CEFR, level for each skill tested, an average Cambridge English Scale score associated with the CEFR level if more than one skill has been taken, an explanation of what each score means in terms of English language ability and whether the candidate took the business or the general test. There is also a group report which breaks down scores by group and level, allowing easy comparison of ability across your organization. Now, bonus question, where can you find LinguaSkill? If you are interested in using LinguaSkill in your institution or becoming a LinguaSkill agent, go to the Cambridge website and complete the form. If you are a candidate who wants to take the LinguaSkill, find a center to book the exam. I will leave the links in the description for you to find, okay? LinguaSkill can be easily administrated and invigilated at any venue at any time. All candidates and institutions need is a computer, an internet connection, a microphone, and a set of headphones. Well, this is just an overview of LinguaSkill. If you want some more information about it, check out the Cambridge website or comment in the comment section below. I will also leave all the relevant information in the description, so check the descriptions, I'll leave all the links and all the information needed. And if you want more content like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel so every time there is a new video, YouTube will tell you. Also, don't forget to like this video so that I know that this content is relevant for you. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching me and see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember that knowledge is never enough. Bye-bye.